Among the great seasons of worship in Islam are the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, which Allah has favoured over other days. The Prophet peace be upon him said, There are no days on which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Allah swears an oath by them, and swearing an oath by something is indicative of its importance and great benefit. Allah says, By the dawn, by the 10 nights. These texts and others indicate that these 10 days are better than all other days of the year, with no exception. Even the last 10 days of Ramadan, but the last 10 nights of Ramadan are better than the first 10 nights of Dhul Hijjah, because they include Laylat Al Qadr, which is better than a thousand months. These 10 days include Yom Arafah, the day of Arafah, on which Allah perfected his religion. Fasting on this day will expiate for the sins of two years. Also, Yom Al Nahar, the day of sacrifice, the greatest day of the entire year and the greatest day of Hajj, which combines acts of worship in a way unlike any other day. These 10 days include the days of sacrifice and of Hajj. So what can we do on these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah? The one who wants to offer a sacrifice must stop cutting his hair and nails and removing anything from his skin from the beginning of the 10 days until after he has offered his sacrifice. Because the Prophet peace be upon him said, When you see the new moon of Dhul Hijjah, if any one of you wants to offer a sacrifice, then he should stop cutting his hair and nails until he has offered his sacrifice. However, if a person does any of these things deliberately, then he must ask Allah's forgiveness, but is not required to offer an extra sacrifice in expiation. His sacrifice will be acceptable. Whoever needs to remove some hair, nails, etc. because it is harming him, such as having a broken nail or a wound on the side where there is hair, should do so. And there is nothing wrong with that. The wisdom behind the prohibition of the one who wants to offer a sacrifice from cutting his hair, etc. is so that he may resemble those in Ihram, in some aspects of the rituals performed. The Muslim should start their 10 days with sincere repentance to Allah. Then he should do a lot of righteous deeds in general. He should pay attention to doing the following deeds. Number 1. Fasting. It is sunnah for the Muslim to fast on the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah. It was narrated the Prophet, peace be upon him, that he used to fast on the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah and the day of Ashura, and three days each month, the first Monday of the month, and two Thursdays. Reciting Tahmid, Tahlil, and Takbir. It is sunnah to recite Takbir, saying Allah Akbar, Allah is the most great. Tahmid, saying Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. And Tahlil, saying La ilaha illallah, saying Subhanallah, glory be to Allah. During the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, saying these words out loud in the mosque, home, streets and every place in which it is permissible to remember Allah, to perform these acts of worship openly and proclaim the greatness of Allah. Men should recite out loud and women should recite quietly. Allah says that they may witness things that are of benefit to them and mention the name of Allah on appointed days over the beast of cattle that he has provided for them for sacrifice. The takbir is as follows. Allah. أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد. which means Allah is most great. Allah is most great. There is none worthy of worship except Allah. Allah is most great and to Allah be praise. Number three, one of the greatest deeds that can be done during these 10 days is Hajj to the sacred house of Allah. Whoever Allah helps to go to Hajj to his house and do his rituals in the required manner will inshallah be included in the words of the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. An accepted Hajj brings no less a reward than paradise. Number four, sacrifice. One of the righteous deeds that brings a person close to Allah in these 10 days is to slaughter the sacrifice. The time for offering the sacrifice begins after the Eid prayer on Eid al-Adha and ends when the sun sets on the 13th of Dhul Hijjah. So there are four days of sacrifice, the day of Eid al-Adha and the three days after it. However, it is better to hasten to offer the sacrifice after the Eid prayer as the messenger used to do. Then the first thing he would eat on the day of Eid would be meat from his sacrifice. Let us hasten to make the most of these great days in contemplation, worship and sacrifice.